Hello everyone, this is King Kong This video I will show you our new product. This is KC868H32B Pro. And this controller is the most powerful in King Kong history. We have designed this controller almost seven months. And you can see here, we have many PC boards, and this PC board always feature. And this first version is feature. And the second is feature. And the third is feature. And over and over and over and over. And at last, we have designed this board successfully. And this board is very powerful. And we have some big innovation on this controller. And this controller will support many different applications. And you can see there are two Wi-Fi antenna. And this time, you can support to your application directly. And also will support the Home Assistant and uh, support Alexa application and support Google Home application and even if Apple Home Kit that will support directly and also can support by the King Kong Smart Home by the internet and support King Kong Kbox application without internet so there are many different software can run on this H32B Pro and this is a software innovation and the biggest innovation, we have uh, designed the ESP32 module into this box. And we'll have a development work mode for user. So the user can write the Arduino code uh, to country this relay and read the input uh, from this H32B Pro. And that will be very easy and simply because we have designed and write the Arduino library uh, for you to write the Arduino code easily. You just install the Arduino library from the Arduino software, just online install. That will be used the library very easily. And this is the software and the hardware also we have some big changes. And in H32B Pro, you can see uh, there are 32 channel menu country but inside of the box. This just only used for emergency state. So sometimes, uh, you must need to turn on and turn off relay, and the control is bad, so you can open the box, and here are some uh, buttons you can for the manual country. And also we have designed this board, and in future, will support the traditional switch. You can see, this switch will in future update uh, to integrate to the H32B Pro. So the traditional switch will be support uh, and connect with this controller directly. Because this time, uh, the H32B Pro support IS485 bus. And we'll use this bus to connect with this board. And in this controller, the network setting. You can set the every relay channel. You can use the reverse function. Uh, before, you have turned on the relay. The relay is on. The relay is have the voltage of the coin but this time you can set opposite the state the relay can be turned off but this time that means turn on the output so that can protect your external relay and your external relay you can connect with the normal close so that instead of the normal open when the light always turning on so this temperature of the relay will be very, very low because the relay is not work, but the light is on. So this is the reverse function of the H32B Pro and save your relay life. Okay, let's look at some hardware details of the H32B Pro. Okay, let's look at this H32B Pro. Uh, this is the box, also is a metal box. And this box will support install on the DIN uh, just like this way. You can see here, that will be like this. And the Wi-Fi antenna, you can use the external antenna. You just uh, remove this antenna and use the external antenna. And here we can see some interface. Uh, this is for relay output, the 32 channel output. And this socket also is a removable design, so you can connect with the one and connect to the box. And this all is output that is for 32 channel. 
And we can see this side of the interface, that Ethernet, and this IS232, and this LD indicate uh, for 32 channel, really indica LD indicate, and the IS485, and the 6 channel digital input, and the power, uh, DC 12 volt. And here's some LDs. That LD is for power and for Tuya network. And for Wi Fi and the Ethernet work mode for TCP server, for UDP, or for TCP client. So there are some LD indicates. And they have some buttons. The button, you can uh, change the Wi Fi work mode and change the Ethernet work mode. And here you can reset the Wi Fi of the Tuya. And here are two buttons, that for ESP32. And this USB port also is for ESP32. And one button is for reset ESP32. And another button is for a program. You can define by yourself what function with this key. And here are two LD indicators also is used by the ESP32. So you can use uh, your program code to control these two LD and the con uh, reader state of the switch. Okay, let's open this box, uh, look at what is inside. Okay, let's look at what is inside. Here you can see the PCB design. Uh, there are many control button. This is just only for emergency use because that usually you will uh, use this box and will not can see these buttons. So just emergency you can open this box and you can press up and press down for turn on and turn off uh, this 32 channel relay. And uh, this is two PCB board and use this soft line and connect with this main board. And we can look at this PC board I have get out from this metal box. Okay, let's look at this PC board. Uh, this is in front of the PC board. And this is the back. You can see here is the back. And in front of it, you can see here that have a ESP32. Module. So this two button is used by the ESP32, and this two LD is also used by the ESP32. And this ESP32 have connect uh, with the Kinkoni ARM CPU by server port. So we have designed the Arduino library, so it will be very easy to use this ESP32 write Arduino code uh, to communication with this CPU. And this write module is a Wi-Fi Tuya module. So that will be support the Tuya application. So this is Tuya, and this is ESP32, and this is ARM, Kinkoni ARM CPU. So these three CPU will work at the same time. So I think you can download the firmware of Apple HomeKit in this CPU. And this is Tuya, and this can for Home Assistant or Kinkoni application. So these three applications can work at the same time. And here we can see this relay we have used. Here you can see uh, the relay is 7 ampere for 250 voltage. And this part also we can get out. And this is for key button. Okay, this is the hardware of the H32B Pro PCB design.